So we've got these thermal blocks in, they had stopped uh, cold breach going through. Also we're doing Flemish bond through here. What we, I've got to work it into this somehow, but what I have to be careful of is when I come up over and return around this corner that this works out with a Flemish bond corner, which it doesn't. So I've dry bonded it through, I've worked it out I've ended up with, I can put, if I flip it around that way, it's a three quarter. And if I put it around that way, I have a queen, a queen closure, stretcher, stretcher, which I do not want. So what I want to do is then bring that over that way, put the half in, then I'll work the bond back that way and we'll put broken bond underneath the window because this is never going to be seen. We'll have broken bond under the window. Um, and over the top there we have a soldier course with a couple of course on top of that so what really matters here is this pier and this pier looks right you've got your dab on top of your bed so that when we rake it out, the lead slots in underneath the damp, which stops, the lead then comes down over your roof and that will stop the water pe from penetrating into the house. Right, so we're just about to set the pier out and we've come across uh, this dilemma, shall we say. Uh, ideally, you want a full brick. Next one would be a three quarter. So I spoke to the architect. He wants to keep the window there where it is, um, which means I'm gonna have a double header. Double header, double three quarter. Uh, what was it? Hang on. So we'll go there like that. That'll be there like that. And we'll have, sorry, double header. Double header there, three quarter there. I think because it's timber frame and we have to work it to what we get to with the timber frames, it can be a bit, it doesn't always look as good aesthetically if it doesn't work right, but this is, uh, it's not like the old houses that used to get built where, you know, they'd shift windows about, do the brickwork first. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, give you that little bit of info on that pier before any of the experts start coming out on Facebook. You know who you are. <laughs> 